All right, guys, welcome back to my Horizon Forbidden West walkthrough. So, we are back here at the Memory Grove. The only thing I've done since the previous episode is to fast travel back here. So, um, this is the main quest, the Kalrut, or the Kulrut. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but... Yeah, let's get this started. Let's go and talk to Hekoro. He should be around here somewhere. The, chief awaits you in the, the tribal chief. The Just scan this as well. Nice. This must lead to the arena. All right, here we go. There he is. Turned into a fighting ring. We'll just pry open this chest. Thank you very much. A new armor. Look at that. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's talk to him. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come from you. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief. Where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. Okay. Nice. Go to the north barricade. Um, is it this way? Apparently not. I can't seem to get past this guy. What the hell? Um, all right. So, uh, in the previous episode, we did the, uh, well, we did actually fight a Tremor Tusk. That is, you know, a mammoth machine. Pretty much the biggest enemy in the game, in my, well, at least in my opinion. Um, it was an interesting fight for sure, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, I will leave a link down in the description as usual. Full playlist down below, check it out. We also destroyed the bulwark. Well, 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 speaking of the devil, so that these guys would join us. The Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. 
If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, up this way. By the looks of it. Okay. Akaro's defenders should be at the end of the stretch. And look. We are not alone in this fight. Where is Decca? There she is, but how do I get up there? Um Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Focus on the machines. Take them down. And Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers, approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. Here we go. Holy shit, that's a lot of machines. Okay, I'm not really sure which ones to, you know, prior. Okay, I'm guessing that we need to prioritize the ones that are actually shooting back. We just stop them from destroying that barricade as well. Oh my god. Stop pissing me off, man. Okay, and uh, now that that's... There we go. These... What are they called? Ravagers? Yeah, I forgot. These things that are actually shooting back, I do suggest that we prioritize these ones. Well, these machines, since they are killing us right now. Oh my god.
Okay, we need... Yeah, here we go. All right. The heavy weapons are scattered across this barricade. Perfect. Can we actually go down there, by the way, and maybe perhaps start looting these machines? Since uh, there's a lot of good drops down there. I mean... Well, at least we got a level up. Nice. Armadillo. There we go. Nice experience. Can we go down there? No, we can't. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just kill that thing as well. And we should be done with this, I think. I mean... That's the last of them. At least by the looks of it. And there we go. There can't be all of them. There. What is that? I don't know. Oh my god, one of these slitter fangs. Let's go! We haven't fought one of these since, um, well, the prologue of the game, pretty much. Right at the beginning. This is going to be really interesting since they can actually move around now as well. Well, it can move around. It's only just the one. Thank god for that. Okay, how about you let, just let me move around? Come on. God. Thank you. Hold up. Isn't this a trip cast? What the wow. Now I'm I'm waiting. All right. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> All right, as soon as we get one of those things destroyed, we should do a chunk of damage.
So this... Well, the slit... Whoa, there we go. Nice. Okay. So the Slitterfangs does have a lot of, you know, weak points. So I'm guessing taking out the poison attacks and... Well, the poison tank and the... Electricity out of the... Out of the battle should make things a lot easier, so... I'm guessing the tail should be a nice little... Little weak point as well. Yep, I don't want that. Come on, bruh. Seriously, are you going to spam this now? Yep, okay. Is it because I'm actually attacking the tail now? Really? Really? Thank you! Stop that! Alright, you're almost dead. Oh, here we go. We're done. Nice. Alright, before we move on, let me just loot the Slitter Fang. Nice. There's a couple things we can take here. And then we'll go and find Hecaro. Hopefully it won't be too late. I mean, Regala is clearly going for him. Well, going after him. Yeah, let me just grab these few chests and herbs. All supply caches. And let's go. Champion, get to the chief. All right, so this attack from Regala is way worse than the one at the embassy, for sure. I mean, she pretty much destroyed the entire arena here. Well. Memory Grove. <laughs> wow. Give me that. Thank you. Let's go. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red.
At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Radala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Let's drop down. Aether is down below. There. That console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring ether support and code. Nice, we got that without any problems this time around. That's good. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. Return to the base. Um. All right, we actually need to go back up. All right, before we go back up, let me just see if there's anything else down here. The visions in the globe have changed. Oh, we actually, okay, talk to Decca. Alright. We do have one of these data points. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go. By the way, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new Horizon Forbidden West episode. Let's see. There she is. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war.
Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Alright, I'm happy to see that Kotalo is joining us back at the base. Nice. So let's fast travel back. There we go. Now, um... Which way is it? It's up, up there. Okay. This? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Oh my god, I'm really happy to see that Varl and Erend is back here at the base as well. We are really starting to have a crew now. Nice. Alright, let's deliver this to Gaia. You ready? Please merge Ether with me. Afterwards I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Eleuthia frequency. Eleuthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. 
The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Alright, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Alright, the cool route is complete. So, we have a new main quest. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, Cradle of Echoes. There we go. So, um, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments on what you guys think about this series so far. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, take care. Peace. Bye.